place we were just a little over two months ago, to Zeke's Orchard, owned by my friends and neighbors, Lee and Kate Petrina. When we were there last, the cherry blossoms were just coming out. Now, two months later, it's harvest time very, very busy time here in Door County. Because all of the cherries essentially ripen at the same time. So the few remaining cherry growers that are up here are all vying for the same labor and the same uh, equipment <laughs> to get their cherries harvested. I saw Lee and Kate and a few others out in their orchard last week and I said, hey, when are you going to be back on the east side of the road there harvesting those cherries? That I filmed back in June and they said, Wednesday and Thursday. I said, what time? Sun up. So they start early. What's that? Deer yeah, it's how about deer those temperatures, time. huh? <laughs> Holy cow! Well, you guys do start early. We, tomorrow we're going to start a little earlier. We should, the cherries are firm, you know, when you shake the cherries off. And the, the, the colder it is, it, even though it's a little chilly for the workers, the cherries stay firmer. They don't oh, get I see. Soft. Oh, yeah. They're better, you know, and hit the water and they stay. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want to bruise them. them, you don't want to yeah. peel their skins. Yeah. And when they pit them, they don't splatter all over and they don't get pit particles it's just real hard bang bang it's real solid years that we're actually going to come out make actually above the cost of production the last four years were cost about 25 cents a pound to grow and last year we got eight cents so you know ooh, you know not good <laughs>
one a year, I guess. That was my one. Excuse me. Swish on it. I didn't have the angle high enough, but it wasn't. That, that was me. Early in the morning. Get the eight ball made.
was on your truck, there'll be two samples. I let Jim let this run a few more. Are you getting a few more than you thought? I am allowed to nag about eating the sand. <laughs> Don't eat much during cherry season. About 195, 200 coming in, about 175 coming out. Clean your mouth. Okay. That's my category, food. It is tuna salad croissant. Oh, this is this what I wanted. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I see less. It's moose poop pie. Good enough. It's a long haul for us here. Okay. Yeah. Is that the only processing plant in the county? Robert Toy Orchards out of Bay Harbor. I don't think anybody That's else. That's the knows. only one left, and they only take their own food. That's it. Break time's over. All the guys are going back to work. And Kate. She really is the one who's the boss out here, I think. Wonderful woman. They're both great, and you know. Lee was telling me that this is the first year in four years that he's made a profit. It cost him about 25 cents a pound to produce these cherries. And currently the market is going for 60 cents a pound. So I'm really happy for them both. And I guess in the end it all kind of evens out, right? That's the way it's supposed to work anyway. This outer road of trees here, these are... These are sweet cherries. These aren't like the Mount Morrissey cherries that are used for pie and juice. These are the good eating cherry. Let's see if we can't find one here. Oh yeah, one. Please take your pick. Look at the size of that thing. Mmm. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. I have to show you this. This is one of Kate's ideas. You know, she's so whimsical. Uh, I really love her. This has got her personality all over it. This is one of her many scarecrows in the yard. She calls this her zombie Barbie. Sitting next to the, uh, the cannon here. This cannon is on a timer, works off a of propane gas. Sounds like a gun blast. And uh, what it does is scares away the blackbirds and the crows and the raccoons who love cherries. The raccoons, will, they do a lot of damage. They'll climb up into the trees and get out to the outer ends of the branches, break the branches, let all the cherries drop for her little ones to eat on the ground. So. Yeah, I think it does a pretty good job at deterring the raccoons, but I don't know, I suspect the crows might be a little too smart for that. Jerome. And another orchard cannon. I can hear these things all the way to my house, which is about three quarters of a mile as the horse flies that away. How many more scarecrows can we find out here today? We're getting on about midday. Somebody's been here picking sweet cherries. You know, back in the day, when they had all migrant help picking cherries before they had one of these automated machines. Lee tells me it would take three guys four hours to clear a tree. Now that machine does it in six seconds. 
And you might notice they don't take all of the cherries. They leave about 10% of the cherries back on the, leave them on the tree so that they can produce cherries next year. So with that, uh, I'll show you some of the uh, photos that I've taken here during cherry harvest. Coming right up. And in the meantime, I want to thank you for tuning in to Behind the Door. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you haven't already, hit the like button and uh, share it with your friends. I see we're coming upon <laughs> another zombie Barbie here. Until next time, I guess we'll just see you down the road. Take care, everyone. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright